Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I'm gonna do something different. I've never done a top five, top 10. I've never done those type of videos. But I know that's what the kids like. I know they like them. <laughs> and I thought, um, why don't we try one? Let's just see how this goes, okay? And I'm kind of excited because I get to talk about a lot of different stuff. Um, uh, so let's go for it, okay? This is the top 10 books you share with people, okay? This is, we're not gonna talk about, you know, Walking Dead, okay? It's not about like, oh, you like the TV show? Here, read this comic book, no. We're not gonna, although this is a great book and I would love to do more videos on this and if you want me to, let me know. Uh, we're not gonna talk about Walking Dead or Umbrella Academy or any of that kind of stuff. What we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about comic books that you hand to somebody, you share with somebody who does not read comic books. This is the gateway drug. This is the top 10 gateway comics, top 10 crossover to mainstream comics, whatever. I'm gonna say top 10 comics to share. That's what I'm gonna say. And this is not in order. Okay, this is not in order. Although maybe I will start with the first one because it is so good. Uh, no, hang on, should I wait till the end? I'll wait till the end on that. Okay, let's just go for this. This is not in order except for the last, potentially. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with Lock and Key, okay? Now, caveat. If you have friends who are into horror, then yeah, show them the freaking creepy, right? Or show them the, you know, 30 days of the night, whatever, okay? If you like people like sci-fi, you know, so it's like, if you know the genre they like or the TV show, then yeah, you give them the book. You say, oh, you like Umbrella Academy? Here you go. Or you like Walking Dead show? The book's even better. You know, that's fine. So we're gonna just assume that it's not about genre specific because you know your people, right? But when you wanna share, these are the books, I've shared these with my wife. That's what I'm talking about. These are like books I give to my wife and say, hey, I know you think this is nerdy. Here, <laughs> read this. Lock and key. Okay, we're stuck on Lock and Key. I want to know what you guys think. Okay, I'm excited. Uh, lock and Key. This is brilliant. This is really, really good, you guys. Really, really good. Um, it's extremely well done. Uh, published by IDW. Written by Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son. And uh, art by uh, Gabriel Rodriguez. Um, it's brilliant. It is a seven book set. This, these are little hardcovers. Um, I love this series. I think it's very good. Yes, there was a TV show. Okay, but fine. But I don't think you need to know the TV show. I give this out to people. Say, hey, look, check this out. You like horror, spooky stuff? There you go. So number one, lock and key. Boom. I think it's very good. Um, number two, smile. Yeah, smile. Uh, not that you have to give this to people because everyone's read this. <laughs> Raina Teldmeiger is the, 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 the bomb. She is the girl that's making all the dreams come true, okay? Her and uh, Nimona, was it? Noelle Stevenson. Those two girls are on fire, okay? Now, by the way, no one watched my video of the Noelle Stevens, Nimona. Nimona's great book. The fact that the views are not even 100 views, I mean, come on. Anyway, uh, Smile is brilliant. It's very good. It's uh, produced by Scholastic. It's everywhere. It's in all the libraries and everything. It's, this is what you do. You want to real make money, you get it in the libraries. Um, something I can't figure out. It's very cute. It's very real. It's autobiographical. It's well done. I'm not going to turn the camera over and just show you stuff, but you know, look it up, okay? It's about, a, it's about her getting braces, but it's really about her family, her, her older sister, her mom, her family, dad, and um, just the tumultuous life of the kid, as a middle school age kid. And I'm an older fella, but you know what? I can appreciate the stories. I was a kid, and um, that's what this channel's about, is, is celebrating the whole gamut of storytelling, uh, it did win the Eisner, that tells you something. 
it's very well done and it's only 10 bucks okay so get it on amazon for like seven highly recommend this book this is one you give to people perhaps more of the female audience but hey i read this it's good so boom uh, one of my favorite books of all time, yes, I'm talking about Jimmy Corrigan, Chris Ware. Now, this is a little bit more for the erudite folks. This is more for the people who um, like slow tales, potentially melancholy, you know, sad, sadness. Um, this is one of my favorite books of all time. This is good. So, I don't give people stuff that I don't like. I give them the cream of the crop. I'm not gonna give them, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Cause like, yeah, I'm not, gonna, I'm not just gonna give them some half-ass book, right? Of like Daredevil or something. I'm gonna give them stuff that I think are brilliant. This is a brilliant book. This pushes the boundary of what a comic is. This says, th this just shows what the medium can do. And it spans generations, it spans time, there's emotion in it. This is highly, highly recommended. Brilliant freaking book, Jimmy Corrigan, okay? If you don't even have it, you gotta get it, and then, you know. Uh, let's do Age of Bronze. A couple of these are maybe not the best for everybody. Again, use your mind, but um, freaking um, Eric Shanawar, uh, Age of Bronze, okay? I know it's not finished. It probably never will be finished. I just talked. I. I met him, I saw him again at Comic-Con last year, 19, and I was like, hey man, when's that finishing? He's like, uh, right? <laughs> uh, the draftsmanship in this, the drawing is really, really good. Really, really good. Um, the story is the damn Iliad, okay? It's Homer, the Iliad, the Odyssey. It is... Very good. It's the complete battle, the everything. The fact that it's all black and white, and I know that he's colorizing it fine. It's all black and white, but you t you know the characters by their headband design and the tint of their hair. It is so good. I've read this multiple times. I have the ones that are out. I love this. I think this is one you share with people. You say, hey, especially history buffs, Hey man, you want to see something cool? Read this mofo. It is dense. It, you do have to kind of think about this. So that's why I said more erudite folk. Um, okay. And and with that, I could even... And if they like this, I would then piggyback... Okay, we're going more than top 10. If you like this, I would say go to Berlin, which is great by Jason Lutz. Or even go to uh, From Hell, which is another one I, I borrow. I let those people borrow those. People who like this, the next steps is Berlin... And from hell both of those freaking brilliant anyway so we went a little past 10 so me um runaways i know it's a tv show too okay what's not a freaking tv show runaways is a good book though it's something you can give to people it's superhero but it's not like i gotta know continuity because it's like new superheroes it's a fun story I would say just this volume, the first volume. Don't go into the others. It's not worth it. But this is a fun story. I, I let people borrow. This is Brian K. Vaughn's. There's two Brian K. Vaughn's. Man, there's two of his books in these. Hmm. What does that say? Okay. Sometimes I, I will hate on him slightly for some stuff. But no, he, he's freaking brilliant. What am I going to say? Um, the art is by a chick who's... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Art is Adrian Alfona. It's good. It's brilliant. Um, it's a fun story. It's basically what if your parents were super villains? What do you do? Because you're not a super villain. Your parents are super villains, and you have powers yourself as the second generation. And then they kind of like fight their parents, the pride. Um, very fun. Good. Pop culture, -y, you know. That's good. Okay. Uh, what was that? How, how many have we done so far? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Number six. Number six. Mouse guard. Mouse guard, right? 
Mouse Guard is a good story that goes to anybody. This is another one of those uh, produced by Archaea Press. Boom. And um, Mouse Guard by Daniel Peterson. It's brilliant. Da is it Daniel or David? Sorry, David Peterson. Um, the art is great. It's an easy read. It's fun. It's this fantasy. It's Tolkien with mice, you know? And the art is brilliant. Maybe we should cover this specifically. Um, but, I mean, it's really well done. I love the tone, the textures that he puts on here. His inking is fun. And when this came out, this was just blowing people up. This was like, what? And now he's got multiple books. I only have three of them, but I think he's got five. There's a role-playing game. I mean, he's really uh, toys. He's, he's done the best he can to like really break this out and it deserves it. It's good. It's a fun story. Um, so this is like for those guys who like a little bit of fantasy, stuff like that. Uh, girls probably would dig this too. Uh, not to be gender specific, but you know, everybody will like it. Kids too. So Mouse Guard, definitely share this one with people. The goal is to share this and then they're like, oh, I like comics. Maybe I'll get some stuff, right? Okay. Couple more. Number seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Fun Home. This uh, is really good. This is by Allison Bechdel. Uh, this is more of a, you know, alt lifestyle. Uh, you know, she's lesbian. Uh, really well, the art is great in here. Her story, autobiographical, so freaking popular that it. Uh, they made a damn Broadway mu musical. So <laughs> go on YouTube, go watch the musical. There's a musical based on the graphic novel. How many graphic novels do you know that there's a, that there's a musical based on Broadway? Um, how about none besides this? I mean, this made big bucks and she ain't hurting, right? So great, great, great book. And the art's really well done. It's a good story. It's not just about her journey. I mean, it. her and her family own a, a funeral home and um, her father comes out as gay and she comes out as gay. So, and then just the, the, the drama and tragedy and all that because of, because of these choices, um, it's pretty, pretty serious and pretty, pretty cool. So this is one of those like, you know, um, serious books, very good, very good. I, I'd share this with people. I'm like, hey man, you wanna know about some? Here's some comics. So those people who like, there's those who wanna like escape, and the, those who wanna like be more introspective, that would be more the introspective type. The Jimmy Corrigan, the, the fun home, even the sisters, right? And then there's like the escape stuff, like Runaways, um, you know, uh, the, Lock and key, that kind of stuff. Okay, three more to go. Number eight, Why the Last Man. Yeah, you gotta do Why the Last Man. Before Runaways, before um, Age of Bronze, before some of those others, you gotta do Runaways. Ru I mean, sorry, you gotta do Why the Last Man. Why the Last Man, and I bound this because you could tell I like it that much. Uh, Why the Last Man is so freaking good and this is only the first like 27 issues. Uh, this is good, this is good. Now I know they've tried to make shows and movies and Dan Trachtenberg's gonna direct it. I mean, I don't know what the deal is with that, but, but I'll tell you this, the art's good. Pia Guerrera, I think is the artist, if I'm not mistaken. Did I make that up? No, I didn't. Pia Guerrera's the artist. Um, art is solid, simple, easy to follow. The story is great. The story is this, simply put. If you don't know this, it's so strange, but okay, the story is this. What if you're the last man on earth? All creatures, all creatures that have a, a Y chromosome are dead except for, except for two. A man and his monkey. <laughs> a one one uh, failing escape artist and his monkey are the only beings not even cows, dogs, nothing with a Y chromosome is alive, okay? So um, he's the last man. Why the last man, right? 
and uh, it's it's very good. It's about his mother. It's about politics. It's just that kind of like apocalyptic scenario of what happens when suddenly everyone dies in a snap. Planes are crashing. The cars of trains. Every anything that's got a guy involved is gone, dead, boom, and just the world. Just you know, what is that? One half of the population, or I think there's more women than men, but it, whatever. It's like gone. And it just goes through what, what, what that means. And it's pretty freaking good. So this is a book, I say, read The Why the Last Man, okay? Very good. Last two. Last two are the best. I'm saving the best for last. This isn't Taylor, this is the best. Um, I gotta say this, I give this to everybody, blankets. This is what I pattern my own book I'm trying to be like, you know, my quasi-autobiographical. This is Craig Thompson's Watershed. This is his. This is the book that, uh, you know, he buys his house with. Uh, <laughs> he gets the, the mailbox money. Uh, Craig Thompson, uh, published by Top Shelf, isn't it? Yeah, Top Shelf. Thirty bucks for six hundred pages. It's a beast. It is his story about religion, sexuality, growing up in the the Rust Belt area in the cold with his brother. Um, I'm gonna reread this actually in the next week or two because there's so much to learn from this. This is a study. This is uh, how to do biographical comics right. He did stuff before this, of course, but uh, this is his book, and he did other stuff after. But this is the book, black and white, all brush worked. Um, it's all brush. It's beautiful. It's it's expressive. It's charming, you will la laugh, you will cry. It's got big themes. Um, it's freaking good. This is a book you give to people. So, huge fan of this, big time. Okay, last one, okay? Now, I talk about this book all the time. We haven't reviewed it. I'm not gonna review it now, but if I'm gonna give a book to anybody, I'm gonna give the mouse. Okay, now I won't give a child mouse necessarily, uh, but I'll give just about everybody mouse. Uh, if you can't handle the Holocaust, I don't know what to tell you, but this book is my favorite book of all time. When I have the courage <laughs> to go into this book more, I will. Okay, I don't have the courage now, although I've read a lot about it. I've got the companions, DVDs, you know. I. I just, uh, it's just too much for me. I love it so much and it means a lot. And uh, this book was the book that really, really, they were studying, they had a class, there's a literary class in college at UCSB, Santa Barbara, that, that, that studied this book. I didn't take it because I was doing other classes, but this was the book that I read in college that just told me, okay, this is what comics are or what can be. It is biographical, not completely, but mostly about his father, Art Spiegelman, by the way, should have mentioned Art Spiegelman wrote and drew this based on some of his father's and mother's experiences, Anja. Um, it is beautifully told, beautifully drawn. Um, it is a masterpiece. It's won Pulitzer Prizes. I mean, it's won everything. It deserves it. It's, uh, it's, Almost everyone's top 10 list, you know, top book. And I think de deservedly so. And so if I'm gonna give people books, I will give them mouse and say, oh, you oh, you like comics? Do you know about mouse? Have you heard about mouse? Now, it's really heavy, it's dark. So if some people might be like, dude, I ain't reading that, or I don't have the wherewithal, the, you know, to deal with that level of stress. And to them, I say, okay, I get that, nope. No problem, but most people I'll um, I'll give because I think it's an experience. So there you go, Mouse, my number one, and we will talk about this in depth when I feel like I can do it justice, which I don't know, because how do you do something like this justice? So there you go, honorable mentions, you know, maybe From Hell, uh, like I said, Berlin. Um, I mean, they're, they're real like superhero stuff, you know, 
you could always do Dark Knight. You could do Watchmen. I didn't put those on the list because I feel like everyone does probably. But you could do Watchmen, Dark Knight, uh, even The Long Halloween was another good uh, Batman story. Um, Kingdom Come, Marvels, those are all both. Those are both brilliant. So there's other like stories you can give up. But that's my top 10, darn it. And there you go. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know if you like these kind of, these little like list ones. I'm not a list guy, but it is kind of fun to talk about them in a kind of a higher level uh, and chat about comics. So there you go. Have a great day, everybody. And be safe, be careful, and read or make your own story. Boom, boom.